Si Joan, I think Joan. Hello, Joan. The outreach program was really, really amazing. We started with the praise and worship, which prayer voice led, and we did testimonies, interaction sessions, and brief talk by one of our coordinators. It was really, really amazing. We were asking people to donate because we didn't really see people to donate. People started donating like Saturday and the outreach was on Monday. We were already wondering ah, how many people are going to donate. So we just people just started donating on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 10 minutes till when we were about to leave. But when we were about to leave for outreach, so it was it was really amazing. We, had, we needed to go through the donated items and sort it out. The one that would not be really presentable, we had to package everything, books, clothes, foodstuffs. It was really nice. <laughs> When we got there, when we settled down, um, the children at the Jesus Mission Outreach, they sang, they had a welcome song. We were really surprised that, wow, for an outreach and a motherless baby home for that to have a welcome song we were very we we're really excited you know the light up vibes that we carried in i know everybody was shouting cheering and then the children too were really really happy and especially the very very young ones they were clingy and they didn't they didn't want to like let go Preparing for that meeting took a lot because I had to wait on God. I had to receive from God and I had to be bold, you know, enough to speak in front of a lot of people. And it took it took <laughs> it took boldness, it took courage, and it took God's strength, honestly, because God God was the one who supported me on that stage. God was the one who gave me words, God was the one who gave me courage, and God was the one who moved and helped my message or the things that I was saying be influential and actually have effect. We need to attempt to represent God. The trainings that I've gotten from you know Bible studies and prayer meetings that we have every week, Wednesday and Friday, in Teenage Church actually contributed to how that went. You know, the Bible study during Teenage Week. It really, really impacted me and it trained me in some sort of way to be able to do that. And so looking back now, I would actually say everything was God and really not myself. Once again, um, we're very glad that you have made it here today and we don't take you for granted at all. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, for the parenting workshop for the teenage week, actually what brought about it was the issue that happened at camp. You know, when we had our camp titled Rekindu and we saw issues that teenagers were you know, battling with, but we actually noticed that parents are not aware of this they think it's still afar off so we had to you know with the help of coordinators we had to bring a parenting workshop where parents themselves will be aware and then they also know their own parts to play because they notice that teenagers tend to get more advice from their friends their people around their age groups but then they are far from their parents so this workshop has taken so that parents parents will be sensitized and then they will know how to act and respond to such things. So if they hear that, okay, probably a child is masturbating, how they should react to it, and how they should not condemn the child because there's no condemnation in the church. So that was what the parenting workshop was about to sensitize parents and also for even those that are yet to have children, how they can bring up their children in the way of the world, they can be close to them so that these issues won't keep growing larger and larger and then it is all set to it. Give glory to God for the success of everything. They say that it's not good for us to stay in the same place for long. So let's just come in. Now we have the issue of relatives. 
you can no longer trust the relatives you bring into your home also because you don't know the kind of things they've been exposed to before they come into your home. And then they begin to teach your children all manners of things. So there's a lot of decadence within the society, a lot of corruption and so many things. And so, you know, these are part of the problems that we have. Or you tell a child, go and stay with auntie, so, so, and so, I'm not going to be around for a few days. And you see reluctance in the child. It's time to find out why there's something wrong in that area.